I'm gonna call you Truffles? Yeah, you can call me Truffles. Y'all can call me Nicole. Um, Nicole's my government. A uh, Truffles is my bike name, but so I'm gonna call you Nicole. Both. I gotta call you so, one or the other. You can call me whatever. Call me Nicole. Call me Truffles. It don't matter, Kendra. Seriously, whatever okay, you want to call. You How old okay. are you, Nicole? I'm 49 years old. Oh, okay, 49. You look good. Uh, thank you. So, what do you do for a living? I'm a stockbroker. Oh, stockbroker. You have any kids? I have one kid. She's seven. Okay. Have you ever been married? No, I have never been married. Baltimore, to be exact. What kind of man are you looking for, girl? Someone who is stable, who has set me for who I am, and um, someone who knows what they want. Um, I, I've ran across a lot of men trying to date with a seven-year-old in my age range. is kind of difficult because men are, most of their kids are of age and mine's is not. And so guys be This gatekeeper is 50 years old with a seven year old. All right, this kid gonna be in the house till she's 60, damn near 65, gotta go. So this is a bad deal. She got a seven year old. They still in elementary school. All right, you still gotta take them to the damn pumpkin patch. What kind of old 60 year old man wanted to be at the pumpkin patch with somebody's small kid? She started off, this is Indecisive Bay. That gets on my nerves and it gets on men's nerves, ladies. Don't need to be this indecisive, seriously. Kendra said, What should I call you, Nicole or Truffle? She asked her twice, What do you prefer? She said, You go whichever, pick one. No, that's not what it's your names. Which one? Just pick one. Then, then she's going to say, accept me as I am. Technical file ejected from the game. We should not accept anyone for who, how they are. No. Stop. This has been a long time since we heard that old stale hoodoo. Men have to change for the better, but women can remain the same. It's remain remain the same when it's not when they're not getting their desired outcome. That's problematic. Like. Oh, you know, you just got that new, you and your baby dad. No, I'm not into all that. I'm not, me and my daughter, father, we co-parent wonderful. That's his first child. And I'm just trying to look for somebody who knows what they want in life and is settled. Like if you want a woman, you trying to get to know and marry, don't have no other side stuff going on. Don't, don't be trying to end something and then trying to start something because you still in that situation that's what i've been running across where guys are still in situations and they're just trying to start another situation that she's describing the nug nug blues right now she goes she'll say me and my 50 year old my baby daddy we she goes this is crazy she this is crazy man i want to see what her baby daddy look like now we got a theory on co-parenting well either when they say that we co-parent very well Either there's still sexual tension and and they still hunching, most likely, or they co-parent very well because, you know, she said that's his first child, maybe he ain't a select brother, and she yeah. is really not into him. She just happened to get pregnant. She's like, huh? But she don't like him, but he likes her. <laughs> somebody likes somebody. It's never mutual. So. She got pregnant, had a buzzer beater baby at 42 years old. Another situation that can kind of move over. Right. So why couldn't you be with your child's father? <laughs> when me and him started dating Kendra, it was almost 10 years ago. And he's the only child. So he's not he back then, I'm going to say, because he has a woman now. And I love her to death. I do. She treats my daughter wonderful. Back then, he was not a relationship person. So it was more like we were best friends sexually, if I can say that. Okay, so um, we were never in a relationship. Yeah, we never was in a relationship. We were trying to get there for like two years, and then I got pregnant. Gotcha. And okay. then when I got pregnant, I was like, hey, you don't have no kids. I don't have no kids. You know, what are we going to do? We sat down. Oh, my God. No bread, no water, just meat. This is crazy, man. She is what's crazy is she don't know how to describe what she went through. That is that buzzer beater baby. Yo, your body knows y'all don't know because y'all not in tune. That's why I call cap 
on y'all holistic ways and y'all chakras being aligned because y'all don't even know your body about to drop that last egg and it's sending, sending chemicals to your body it's like you need to get knocked up tonight you don't have no too many more shots at this bone quisha and it's sending all them chemicals to your body and you just think you horned up for no reason your body like i'm you gonna get this baby put up in you or else and hence the buzzer beater baby and she talking about they was best friends sexually now as adults had a conversation and i had a baby <laughs> so okay. fair enough so y'all were, so were just like friends with benefits right exactly okay all right so now you tell me what you wanted what are your deal breakers um a man who's still living at home with his mama i can't do that because if you're not even stable enough to get your own place or start your own life, I can't do that. That's my deal breaker. Um, and guys who still hopping from job to job, if you almost 50 and you still ain't stable in your career, I can't do you. That means That's how you know these women ain't ish. These men will leave these relationships and get new women. We've been seeing it all night and all the time. They, they Their baby daddies, their ex-husbands, they always got new wives and new baby mamas. It's always y'all up here lonely trying to find a man is sick. And way too often, these women here that's crying this cry, they now they want to be all friendly and lovey-dovey with the new woman, which to me goes against human nature. I think it's wild. Ain't, they ain't that mature. I'm not buying it. I'm not. Like, yeah, I know wealthy people tend to move like that. They just be there, be married, and his wife go to this person, then sink it. But that ain't y'all. Y'all still emotionally attached. It's, it's wicked. It, it muddies the waters, and things end up happening. Yeah, she she an agent of chaos, if you ask me. means that you can't even come in my life because I got to worry about if you're going to quit the next job. <laughs> so I can't, I can't do it. Should he be in Maryland? No, he don't really have to be in Maryland because I've had long distance relationship where I, I have been initiative to travel um, and go and meet him and be with him. Um, so no, he does not have to be in Maryland. Okay. Um, should he look a certain way? Um, I, yes, I like tall men. I do. I'm five eight myself. So I like tall men. Um, and then see with me is the attraction level um so it's like you know if his swag is there i can't i'm old school <laughs> if his swag is there then maybe you know we can be like oh yeah yeah <laughs> okay nice. uh, what about money should you make a certain amount of money yeah oh, you should your tv off is your tv on oh yeah me. let me turn it off i turned off Okay. I turned it off, Kendra. Okay. Yeah, um, he should make a certain amount of money, you know, at least five figures or more. I mean, come on now. We're living in a life where economy is moving. And again, I'm a stockbroker. So <laughs> well, thirty thousand dollars is five figures. You're fine with that? But yeah, because at least you got guys out here. Let me tell you, Kendra, I honest to God, I met a guy, he was still making like twenty two thousand a year. Oh, 20,000 a year working. I mean, come on now. It, it's your passion should be to move forward in life. Hush. And he was settled where he at. Now, if you make 30 K and you like, Hey, I'm trying to work my way up. I, I can work with that. Hey, I'm just starting off. You know, I'm here. I'm trying to work my way up. But if you satisfied where you at and you're not trying to work your way up, I can't deal with that. And shout out to HQ rest in peace to brother scoop water will find its level bonquisha so that man making 22k and they keep finding their way to you the water is finding its level why are you in his way so y'all need to ask what lane are you in you keep looking behind you and you seeing 22k ninjas that is your lane sister are you surrounded by them don't fight it you 50 with a seven-year-old, you have expressed that you are living the perils of trying to date at 50 with a seven-year-old. Who do you, I would I would I wish they made some kind of like brain projection deal where you can see the ninja they want to walk through their door. I guarantee you it'd be more comical than we could ever describe. I'm telling you, six foot eight ninjas, knock knee, not knock knee. <laughs> yeah, she just out here pills and potions. 
You ain't got no motion. No little man is in your boat. Pills and potion. You ain't got no motion. I seen them babies in your throat. You know what I'm talking about? Hey, hey, hey. Okay. Okay. Let's do the Kendra Cam. Oh, wait a minute. Let me put you somewhere you can see me. <laughs> well, you got to get it in the beginning. Let me see this outfit, girl. <laughs> can you see? Can you see? Can you see me? Is it too dark? Okay, it's kind of dark. dark. We can see wait, the silhouette wait, 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 wait. of it. I can move. I can move. I can move. I can okay. Move. Oh, too dark. okay. Ooh, you want to show that body, girl. <laughs> hey, listen, I used to be 400 pounds. How'd you lose the weight? I had a weight loss surgery. Holy hell. Cut it out. I have a glandular problem. So she's still blowed out. Y'all see, y'all see all the skin hanging. She lost her weight though. I don't know. I, how do, we always say you don't get no grace over here because how the hell did you end up 400 pounds? Like, like that's a real question. Fold for the hundo. Fold for the hundo. Like at, at 300 pounds. You know what I'm saying? My knee started hurting. Ain't 400 pounds on a woman's frame. She was, she five foot, seven, five foot eight. I'm six foot two. 400? A fat? No muscle. Yeah, I was going to say she wrapped tight. And the, and I, it looked like whatever she got wrapping her up is got her extra meat all squoze out. It's just squoes. But I, yeah, 400 pounds. Tells the tale full god dang old hundo. Ooh, you want to show that body, girl? <laughs> hey, listen, I used to be 400 pounds. How'd you lose the weight? I had a weight loss surgery and I, I removed all the skin. So, and I go to the gym three days a week. Wow. So, so you lost how much do you weigh now? Uh, about 200. Wow. So you lost 200 pounds. Yes, yes ma'am. I sure when did. When did you do it? Uh, about five years ago. Okay. Did you yeah, feel so like, do you I, feel I, like I, your dating options changed once you lost the weight? Yeah, but my attitude has been the same. Like I like my girlfriends always say, um, Nicole is Nicole, whether she was 400 pounds or whether she 200 pounds, my attitude has always been the same. Like I thought I was the shit. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> act your face, act your waist. 400 pounds and you still thought you was the ish that's a flaw ladies that's not an accolade she all proud kendra grinning like a chess cat stop it how you think you're the ish at 400 pounds like self-awareness is critical me i'm a man i knew i was too big at 300 and nobody had to tell me my mama did tell me i had titties so that helps <laughs> but yeah <laughs> that's why i believe in shave three 400 i'm stuck on that my knee starting to hurt thinking about that. Oh, honey. It. <laughs> so it, it don't matter. But a lot of guys, they get with me and they be like, oh, I know guys be trying to holler at you. I don't care what they're trying to do. I'm trying to focus on one person. I can't focus on 3,000 people who try to look at me and say, oh, she got a nice butt. Or, oh, she got a nice ass. Or oh, I wasn't getting to know her. I can't focus on that. Okay. Okay. Um. There's not 3,000 people saying that. Well, let me stop. Let me stop. Let me stop. The 3,000 people that are saying that, you don't even understand because it's not English. It just sound like... It's all kind of different languages. We don't know what the hell they saying. All right? But she need to stop. I need to stop. She got a nice boot. She got a nice body. She lost 200 pounds. She lost a whole human and she's smelling herself. Huh, she she said 200 and something. I'm 230. She would have saying, stop, Bone Quisha. You about 235, 240, 250. <laughs> Talking about there's 3,000. 3,000 men out there staring at her butt saying, mm, look at her. That's a nice booty. That's a fine booty. She said she got the skin removed. Listen, maybe. Huh. Get in the tub. Y'all stop taking showers like you at the car wash. Get in the tub and soak yourself. How about that? <laughs> she, <laughs> what recipe should say? Submerge yourself. <laughs> All right, 
I didn't, okay, well, congratulations on your weight loss journey. Thank you so much, Kendra. I appreciate that. Okay. So when was your last relationship? Um, About five months ago, he um was in New York. He up and left me one day when I was at work. Did he say why? No. Have you, have you talked to him again? I talked to him that time he when he left. He just said, I can't do it anymore and just left. And that was all what he said. How long were you guys together for? Like almost six months. Yeah, six, together, did you? No, no. His plan, he got a job down here from New York. He was working out the casino. He was going to work every day. He was coming home every day. And then one day he I was calling him. He said he had to work overtime. So I'm like, okay, fine. I know they work overtime. So I was like, okay, it's in the morning. Let me call him again. And I called him again to make sure he was okay, you know, because I'm a concerning, I'm a very caring person. And I called him again, again, again. And then he finally picked up and he was home in New York where he had an apartment that he was still maintaining and that I didn't know. And he was still maintaining that apartment. And he was like, well, I can't do this anymore. Right. Holy hell. He went and got a pack of cigarettes. He went and got a pack of cigarettes. You can't make this up. In 2024, y'all still getting packs of cigarettes? <laughs> Golly. He went to work and never came home. Y'all don't understand what it takes for a man to do that. Like, it's extremely premeditated. He didn't wake up that morning like, I ain't going back home. He probably was like, he probably the week before, he's like, next week, you know, make sure everything good back in NYC. All right, I'm going to go to work. When I get off work, I'm hitting the turnpike. <laughs> God, to hit the turnpike after a hard day's work is wild. And he talking about, so he said he worked overtime. Understand how desperate his brother was to get back to some degree of normalcy. He said, I'm going to work. Her words, I'm going to work overtime, and then I'm going to hit the turnpike. He said, I ain't got to sleep. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting up out of here. He was just all the way stressed out. Like, over. That's crazy. And she's sitting up here like it has nothing to do with her. He was just a mean, big, mean monster. He just left. Had nothing to do with her. Stop it. You was full for the hundo. That's right. Wow. wow. That speaking, of, speaking of F him, when was the last time he was intimate with somebody? You don't have to answer. <laughs> With him, oh. <laughs> I gave him some ass before he left, Kendra. <laughs> no, Kendra, listen, I, I'm gonna be honest. I gave him some before he left. <laughs> so, but did you know he was leaving? No, so I did you not know. Give him some before you left. You were in a relationship, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, basically, yes. Yeah. But, but I didn't know he was leaving. Right. Okay. What's the chances she gave him some of that? She gave him one last dose of that funky cuda cotta. He said, "I'm done with this." I've been telling you to wash your butt for months. He said, it's the final straw. He got the lad that funky cuda cotta ran him away. No, 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 seriously now. Because that's tough. He, y'all was just intimate that day. And he like, I'm still leaving. Golly, ladies. Check, yeah. Get no self-awareness, no self-accountability. You guys to. That's wicked. He's like, I ain't going back to that. I'm going to work this double and I'm hitting the turnpike. No sleep. I'm not going back there. Huh? Well, I was going to say, none of us had to smell what he smelled. So had y'all smelled that, you would have got on the turnpike too and drove to New York. Granted, I don't I don't fault the brother at all. Godspeed, man. I hope he's well. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Project Leroy. Come through with the 80 ball in the cash out. He says, send Bigums to the pit with the Ozempic Madness. Man, Ozempic, this is Ozempic Bay. If you don't think her bloodstream is 25% Ozempic concoction, you smoking with the cigarettes. Yeah. Yeah, and they don't understand. This is sad. Like, we joke and play, but there's going to be consequences to moving out here all willy-nilly, injecting those Zimpic all weird. Even my man Dr. Now, you know, made a video about the 
the issues that could come from it, the Ozempic. You got to take it forever. I heard once you start taking it, there ain't no way in heck. They say once you start, you can't stop. Otherwise, there will be adverse effects. Like, weird. Just to lose weight, you will sacrifice overall health just to look a certain way. Agreed. That part. So, yeah, I've been seeing a lot of people losing weight anymore off that Ozempic. It's crazy. I be seeing it too. Ozempic base. Like, I, like it has adverse effects. There's going to be things that's going to happen to you down the line. Like, I feel like I don't know if they just don't care, but it's going to be bad. It's going to be bad. And they arm still be big. I think it attacks like the gut and stuff. I don't know what it does. Yeah, I, I, I'm going to look into it. Cause yeah, be careful. Ozempic. Y'all, y'all see it's going to be those billboards. Hopefully not. Hopefully I'm wrong. 10 years, 15 years down the long line. Are you a victim of Ozempic overuse? Call Edgar Snyder now. <laughs> I just be careful, folks. Everything that seemed good ain't good. So here we go. Shout out to my guy, Project Leroy, to the pit. Madness. Fuck is you talking about? This is Sparta! You got to know when to hold them. Know when to fold them. Know when to walk away. Know when to hide. You got to count your blessings. You're sitting at the table. You hear me? Ooh, child, things will get brighter. Yeah, that's what I saw. I saw that Ozempic attacks the muscle. And the skeletal system, it's going, it's going to take the weight away. They don't, but I, it's my understanding, they don't too much uh, discriminate. Muscle, fat, bone, tendon, ligament, take it all about you. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go. We're going to keep it moving. 